How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with another Black Desert Mobile video. Now today we're looking at the patch that just hit last night. Some huge things have been added to the game. Town Hall Level 6, Guild Wars, much, much more. Let's jump right into the patch notes and take a look at them. Starting at the top up here, we have the January 7th patch notes. In this patch, new content and events have been added to the game. We have also made general improvements and tended to various in-game issues. Let's take a look at the changes coming to this patch. Ancient runes, higher difficulties have been added. There's difficulty 6 and 7. Let's take a quick look at that in-game. I got it right here. 6 and 7. If we go to the ancient runes menu, you can see. Let's just back out of here. They've upped the drop. So going from 5... Six and seven now give you a chance at a ultimate Laverto longbow. And the it's a, there's a rate up when moving from tier five as well. I really hope that some of you have saved up some of these tablets. Uh, I, I know some people who saved thousands, which is crazy. Knowing that there had to have been higher levels coming out and it was totally going to be worth to save it. But this is crazy. 44,000 scales up to 52,000 silver. 31 Chicago coins per run, and you can run this 23 times at once. That's the max repeatable on this. But it's uh it yeah, there you go. hopefully we see more Laverdo weapons being added to the game through that drop rate. We'll have to see how that goes. Moving on, we have Town Hall Tier 6. Upgrade your town hall tier to increase the max level and total number of buildings that can be built in your camp. Uh Town Hall 6 unlocks Blacksmith 11 to 13, Refinery 11 to 13, a chance to, to produce Grand Black Stones at your Refinery, Ranch 11 to 12, Food Storage, Storage, and Stable. So what we did not see is an increase in our Alchemy building. That's what I was really hoping for. Uh, better crystals to be able to craft, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that. We were getting um, one more lodging, so our total number of workers is going to go up significantly. I believe we can go lodging level 3, plus however many we get from the base uh, level 6 unlock. With Town Hall Tier 6 unlocked, the total number of structures that can be built has increased to 150. We can now, we can now construct three different monuments, Statue of Vitality, Battle, and Artisan Stone Statue. Increases, in, instantly recovers stamina, temporarily increases combat experience, and life skill experience. From those statues that's interesting different effects and only one mon monument can be built at a time monument in place must be removed before a new one can be built well personally i'm all about that statue of vitality for that stamina re refresh for sure all right let's take a quick look at the town hall i have mine sitting here ready to be upgraded boom Oh, we've done aired. You can now you can now obtain better goods at your camp. Level up instantly. We have 27 workers available, meaning we're going to have another uh, 27 of it workers available. Right away, I'm able to build another lodging, and that's going to increase me to 28 <clears throat> and uh, 28 lodging level up here should be. 29 and going to lodging level three will give me 30 workers so we're gonna have 30 available workers in total let's see what we get in the pub here um sdv i don't think i need any more of those i'm probably gonna leave him well I'll, I'll work on my workers another time for now what i suggest everybody to do is just scoop up extra white workers until you hit the new maximum Orange, we got another SDV. Not a big fan at the moment. I just don't need any more of those. Whites, let's fill this up. And boom, awesome. 29 to 20, or 28 to 29 to 29. I'll get the last one when I do my lodging. What else do we have under build? Here's our statues. We have vitality. This is stamina increase, battle, uh, combat experience, artisan stone statue, life skill experience, and everything else has been built. So I'm going to go ahead and slop down this Vitality statue, and uh, and I'll learn more about that later. Camp content, camp funds, get Blackstones. I love seeing this. This is great. 
But back to the patch note. That's everything. That's a quick look at everything that's new in the camp. Accessory grade resonance update. So what they've added is a second tier of accessory resonances where the that, that scales off of the number of those accessories that you actually own. So yellow accessories, if put two or more, you can now get a bonus of two AP, seven DP. Four or more is four AP, 10 DP. All five yellow accessories gives you a 21, a seven AP and 14 DP bonus. Now this is really important and what it means is everybody who's been sitting on blue and purple accessories on high enhances are now extremely enticed to finally make that move to yellow. Mystical grade, which is orange, 20 DP, 20 AP, 30 DP. This is going to be a very uh, important tier, to, oh, important, a very uh, desirable tier to hit. This, this means having two oranges and low enhanced yellows is actually going to be stronger than having higher enhanced yellows. I will figure out where that tier is in enhancement goes. I'm sure plus three yellows and two, or two plus zero oranges is going to be an, one of the more attainable short-term attainable goals i would say and a quick look at that in game is uh actually it, this one explains itself you guys can see the actual increase this is having two oranges the rest doesn't matter and then the rest is three yellows and then you'll get basically it, it's not it's a cumulative you only get 20 ap and 30 dp you don't each new tier doesn't give you all of the previous rewards but i did log into significant cp increase today guild War system. This one is huge. Declaring war on guilds can now occur. <clears throat> so from your in-game menu that you have guild war, war status, type the name of the guild you want in here and you can declare war on them, making you able to PvP and PK them anywhere on the map, even outside of nightmare mode. This is going to turn the game up to a whole new level. That is for sure. Enter the name of the guild you wish, wish to go to war with, and then tap Declare. Only guild masters and guild officers can use the Declare War function, and it costs 3 million guild funds. Guild masters and or officers must enter the guild name that they wish to go to war with, and Declare must be tapped. Each guild can declare war on a maximum of one guild at a time. However, the same guild can have war declared on them by up to 10 guilds. What? You can only declare back on one, and up to 10 people can declare on you. That is intense. After a war with a guild ends, there's a 24 hour waiting period until you may go to war with the same guild again. Fantastic. During the war, every guild member will be shown with a red mark on the minimap, meaning it's possible to attack them. Defeating an enemy guild member will grant you guild points based on the defeater, defeated adventurer's combat points. First guild to reach 30,000 points wins the guild war, and the war ends. And you are able to protect members in your guild, up to 10 total, it costs you 100,000 guild funds per protect. If any guild members wish to not participate in the guild war, guild masters and officers can enable protected mode on up to 10 of them. These members will not participate in the guild war. 100,000 guild funds per member. Additionally, guild members can be removed or added to the protective state, but there's a 10 minute cooldown per protected state to be removed or added. Fair enough. That, that, that works. In case guild wishes to, to cease a guild war, the guild master or officer may choose to withdraw from the war. Withdrawing will result in the immediate defeat of the withdrawing guild. Withdrawing is only possible under two conditions. At least 60 minutes have passed or the guild point difference is greater than 2,000. Defeated guilds cannot have war declared on them for 24 hours. Improvements. Devices which are capable of running Black Desert Mobile on max settings have the option to enable max settings. This system is available on all devices. However, devices with weaker specs will have their graphics settings adjusted in case of overheating or frame drops. It sounds like they might finally be giving us max settings at your discretion, which is cool. People have been asking for that for a long time. Adventurers can enter an adventurer's fame code at level one, but now adventurers must be level 20 or higher to receive the reward chest. Also, the recommended adventurer's fame points will only increase after claiming the reward. In-game chat is now divided into languages. Tap the chat and open it at the top. Tap languages for options. Uh, I tried to join the English chat when I logged in, but I couldn't. It was full. <laughs> Added a timer to Bloodkin Quest to show the time left until a Bloodkin Quest can be accepted again. The dummy enemy in the skill tab will now return to its original state faster. Oh, that's neat. He uh, he kind of laid there ah, all stunned for way too long after, after you showcase skills with knockdowns and such. Quests will now be displayed in an order that prioritizes quests that should be cleared first. Interesting. 
Uh, bug fixes and other changes. Fix an issue where adventurers who are not part of your party would be shown as party members on the minimap. Fix an issue where the results of Ramonas would occasionally not show the correct results. Fix an issue where the experience bar at the bottom of the screen would not be accurate. I remember that. For my entire level 59 to 60, even when I was at 98% to level, my experience bar showed me at like 60%. Fix an issue where the auto pathing would act abnormally when navigating to an NPC. Fix an issue where registering a single item in a collection would occasionally result in the collection item not showing up properly. Fix an issue where the effects of enhancement would be wrong when gear or weapons would have, have existing enhancement success rates. Is that... Is that them saying Force Enhance had errors? Maybe? Fix an issue where the effects of enhancement would be wrong when gear or weapons would have an existing enhancement success rate. Your gear or weapons have an existing enhancement success rate when you're trying to force enhance. And we've been complaining that the force enhance rates were absolutely atrocious. Maybe that's what that was. And they're just like, eh, but it says UI. That's not supposed to actually be something in game. So I'll, I'll hold my speculation. Fix an issue where the text would not align properly when changing back from select mode or info mode in the Chicago Exchange page in some languages. Fix an issue where registering pets immediately after purchasing them would occasionally show guild mileage and mileage when it should not. Show or give. Fix an issue with where the rewards, yeah, the rewards for boss rush typically 99 would occasionally become visible. Fix an issue where the names of regions in the node war map would occasionally look extremely small and fix an issue caused by UI scaling. There's been many issues in, in text reading caused by UI scaling. Character, fix an issue where status effects would not would occasionally persist in Ramonas and Arena. Fix an issue where turning helmets on or off left a shadow on the face of some characters. Fix an issue so that Bernie gear will not show up on the market. Ah, Bernie, it was not in the game, so it was just sitting there teasing us the whole time. Fixed a rare issue where if the, when the weapon outfit is fitted, the weapon or sub-weapon is unequipped, the base weapon would not be visible anymore. Invisible weapon. That would have been cool. Fixed various language errors in knowledge and quests. That's neat. That, 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 that's just showing that you care. I like that. Fixed a rare issue when unchecking some options in Pearl Shop outfits would result in visual errors. Miscellaneous. Some guild Milus quests are no longer available. Korean language support is now, of, is now supported. We have the Black Spirit Adventure event, an accessory rate up event, which we'll check out. Ultimate Steps of Fortune, Enhancement Chest, Rapid Growth Chest, Conqueror of Bosses Chest, and a Tier 1 Pet Chest. And uh, Sales Ending for Enhancement, Combat, Conqueror, and Upper Steps of Fortune. All right, now, now to check out, this is our accessory rate up event. After the January 7th maintenance until the second maintenance of January, duration one week, Chance of epic or higher accessories appearing are doubled in the pearl shop. Refresh cost will only refresh cost will only cost 50% of the original price. Half price refresh, double the yellow and orange accessory rates. That is spicy. That is spicy. Black Spirit's adventure. The Black Spirit is going on a journey. See below for more details. After the January 7th maintenance until the 5th maintenance of January for 3 weeks, complete the laps get rewards this lap 100 laps is a yellow accessory that's it that's a scarlet necklace there at the yellow accessory chest and um the rewards are decent if this is the map okay okay dice fragment i've, I've already looted over 100 dice overnight so we should be able to get quite a lot of this board done it seems to be more of a free-to-play event too which is really nice you get you passively grind this currency just by killing monsters Roll the dice in the Black Spirits event tab. Adventurers will gain one die every hour after logging up to a total of two dice per day, and they can exchange five die fragments into one whole die. Die fragments drop from monsters. That is an event. That is what I like to see. That is a very well done event. This will reward to be given upon completion of a certain number of laps. All dice and die fragments will be removed from the game when the event ends. All rewards can be found in the inventory. Some event items may be spirit bound. It cannot be moved or restored. And the event period is, subject, is the event period is subject to change. Last but not least, we have the Pearl Shop update. Period after the January 7th maintenance until further notice. Max one family. Uh, relic fragments times 500. Tier two pet chest times 100. Lightstone fragment times 1200. Epic lightstone chest. Epic lightstone chest. Woo! 
Rare Condensed Dark Energy Chest times 20, Unique Condensed Dark Energy Chest times 10, Epic Condensed Dark Energy Chest times 5, 1200 ancient, or 2000 ancient coins, 500 tablets, 500 boss stamps, 20 grand weapon black stones, 40 grand armor black stones, scaling at a cost of 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, and 2000. So 3200, 4200, uh, 5000, 6200 pearls do the whole thing. 200 for relic fragments times 500 is a good deal. That is literally a good deal. 100%. Second item, tier 2 pet chest for 400 pearls. That is a very good value. Lightstone fragment times 100. And an epic lightstone chest. It looks like both you get for 600. That's a very good value. Rare condensed dark energy to epic condensed dark energy. This could be a significant amount of levels for your black spirit. But I don't really value the 4th and the 5th item. Ancient coins are worthless to me, and these I farm very easily. So I don't see them being worth the combined 1,800 pearls. And that really stops me dead. I don't value ancient tablets and boss stamps enough, although 500 is an insane number. But to get here, to get to either of these two things, we're talking 2,200 uh, to 3,600 pearls. So I'm stopped at my tier 2 pet chest. First and second steps seem worth it to me the 500 relic fragments the tier 2 pet chest and you can even consider the lightstone fragments for 600 that's that's a cold total cost of 1200 pearls and that's where i see the value in these ultimate steps of fortune going past that i it, the value really 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 drops off for me enhancement chest 1200 pearls max three per family per week you get a grand weapons blackstone, grand armor blackstone, grand good weapons and good armor blackstones. That is a massive amount of blackstones and armor stones. Massive. Times 10, this is like a $40 million value. Times 20, this is like, oh sorry, this is a 4 million. This is about 10 million. This is about 5 million. And this is about another 10-ish call it 12 million that's a massive amount of of silver worth of black stones for 1200 pearls you can get it three times per week that's actually pretty crazy I, I i i won't get it personally it's still a lot of pearls for something i farm on the daily i do this this game's a marathon you can sprint you can sprint it up with a little bit of help but things that i can achieve very easily for free in game i like to leave that way Rapid growth chest, 700 pearls. Uh, the rest of these are just chests, which I do like to check out in-game, so let's head that way to finish looking at them. Upper steps of grand, upper steps of fortune. There's those 500 relic fragments for 200. Best deals. Conqueror of bosses chest, tier 1 pet chest, conqueror of bosses chest, rapid growth chest, enhancement chest. <clears throat> tier 1 pet chest for 400, right away. Uh, that is, uh, weird. You guys drunk? 400 pearls! Black pearls, that's why. That's why it's, it's, uh, it's showing. 400 black pearls. That makes total sense to me. <laughs> that's another free, once per week, you can obtain a black pearl, i.e. free-to-play friendly pet. Welcome addition to the game. I love that. Uh, Conqueror of Bosses chest. That is new, 100 boss stamps, 100 ancient tablets, one conqueror of bosses chest after the third purchase. What is a conqueror of bosses chest? Hello? All right, back to the patch notes. Price, max three for boss rush. Additional conqueror of bosses will be given when this product is purchased three times. Oh, it's just a repeat of itself. Okay, fine. You just, you get a fourth, for, fourth one for free on your final purchase. At 950 pearls, that's a hard no for me. Rapid growth chest. Uh, once again, condensed dark energies. Have you guys seen how many of these I farm? Just from an overnight farm, 700 pearls. That's laughable. Hard pass. Enhancement chest. This one. Some serious... This is... If you're trying to exchange pearls for, for value in silver, you can't beat this. This is three pets worth, also known as about 6 million. Even if you're going for a costume in a bit, that's you're only banking like 4 mil from that, even with an event costume. The value in these stones are incredible so this is actually an insanely valuable 
uh, pearl to serp silver ratio. Not valuable for myself personally, because I probably won't do it, but on a pearl to silver ratio, for people who are spending in that way, this is an extremely good value chest. And uh, that, that brings me to the end of the chest. So we've already been there. And we've covered the upper steps of fortune, which showed really well here, which is great. We've looked at the camp, which was the last, the really the last part of the update. And in game, our war declaration, we have guild war, protected, war record, where it shows our record. And, uh, and we can protect up to 10 members here. Safety settings, it's going to cost me 100,000 guild funds to put someone on the protected list. And that is the January 7th update. Pretty spicy update came our way today. Town Hall Tier 6, Accessory Resonance, Resonance update. Let's actually take a quick look at my Accessory Resonance and how it's actually scaled my CP up a little bit here. So if we look here, we have... Accessory Resonance, we have the second tier down here. You have uh, First Resonance, Attack plus 2, Defense plus 7, Equip 2 or more Epic Accessories. Uh, it's actually interesting. Um, it looks like I'm getting... I wonder if I'm getting both of these. I'm at 3,500 flat right now. If I unequip my Yellow Accessories, I, I'm now at 3,324. So we've lost the Yellow Accessory Resonance. But I have my orange one getting me. So you actually get both, which is crazy. So for having three yellows, or well, having two yellows, you get... Having two yellows, you get plus two attack, plus seven defense. And then for having two oranges, you get plus 20 and plus 30. They don't have anything at tier three. So you can't, you can't mix and match better than that. But having two yellows for, gives you an extra, a bonus nine CP. Scaling up to a bonus 21 for 5, which is really pushing people off of their uh, purple and blue accessory sets. And then an orange, you're going to get a bonus 50 CP for having plus 2. And it's completely separate from the yellows, which is interesting. Scaling up to a bonus 50, 84. 84 CP for all 5 orange accessories. So people who are fully decked out in those orange accessory sets just got a major boost today significant boost that is crazy that's gonna do it for today <coughs> i apologize if there's some background noise i have the little one with me today and she's sort of just crawling around and playing behind me i say playing but really she's completely trashed this room it's going to not be fun cleaning it up but uh make sure you come and check me out live i'll be streaming today for sure at twitch.tv slash mask that's uh, twitch.tv slash mask scaren and discord.gg slash mask tv is where you can come ask me any questions you have both the links are right there beside me uh join the discord we have an awesome community there ready to answer any questions you have about the game at any time and just hang out have fun we hang out in voice chat there all the time as well especially when we're doing boss rushes there's there's a handful of people that stream in discord now they like to stream their boss rushes they're really cool to watch but that's gonna do it for today Thanks so much for watching this video. It means the world to me to be able to do this. I absolutely love it. Uh, lots more to come. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And of course, stay classy.